This is Mike, the Croatian Crippler Rožić for CroatianSports.com. On the phone here I have heavyweight contender Stipe Miocic. How's it going, Stipe? Uh, I'm not doing bad. So you got an upcoming fight here on uh, Saturday against Stefan Struve. Uh, how's your uh, conditioning and everything before the fight here? Uh, great, man. Everything's going good. It was a great camp. You know, I got some good guys to train with and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, can't complain. Can't wait for that next Saturday. Okay. And I, I know you don't have to cut weight. You're in the heavyweight division, so you can get up to 265 if you wanted to. Um, has anyone helped you out with any of your conditioning and stuff like that? Yeah, I have a, I have a special doctor. Uh, we'll keep him on the red tour now. <laughs> Dr. Paul. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's awesome. He, uh, he's a good dude. He helped me out a lot there. Um, and then, you know, my coaching and stuff is strong stuff, so that worked out well. Perfect. Now, uh, your last fight, you fought uh, pretty much a stand-up specialist in uh, Del Rosario. Um, your fight here against Struve, he's more, I'd say, more well-rounded than Del Rosario. How did your, uh, did you change your camp around at all for a uh, different fighter? He's also a pretty tall guy, so you'd have to probably get taller training partners and stuff. Yeah, I have some tall training partners now, but uh, I was training with uh, Tim Silver for a little bit. He's about six nine, so that helped out a lot. Um, hang on. How was it working out with uh, the Maniac, former UFC champ? Yeah, it was awesome, man. He's a good dude. He's a lot of good stuff. It's awesome. Did you guys talk about uh, his former trainer, Pat Militich, at all? The creation sensation? Yeah, a little bit. We talked a little bit about that stuff. You know, he's a good dude. He's always said he's a you know, good coach and stuff like that. He doesn't good stuff to say. Good stuff. Now, uh, since we first met, Stipe, you were, uh, you're before the Phil the Freeze fight there, I guess it was. How's, uh, how's your life changed since uh, basically we first met? Now you're on a main event card coming up on Saturday. and Have you been more busy, I guess, with interviews and stuff like that? Has it been more crazy? Yeah, you know, a little more interviews. <laughs> <laughs> I guess in the beginning when we met, we're going to take over the world, remember? First time. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you know it. So, uh, this is your first fight being in the main event, I guess, in the UFC. Uh, any nervousness going into this one? Uh, yeah, I think every fight, you know, you get nervous. But, yeah, of course, you mean nervous being in the main event and stuff like that. But, you know, it depends how you, how you cope with it, I guess. Yeah, that's true. Now, uh, I've seen an interview with uh, Stefan Struve there, and he's saying that he's beat, beaten many undefeated guys before in the UFC and that he's the guy that's going to beat you. Do you have any uh, anything in response to that? Yeah, good for him, you know. Very nice thing, you know. Uh, it's going to be a hell of a fight then. Yeah, are you going to go out there and get the knockout? Uh, I'm going to get that W no matter what. That's what I like to hear. I don't like how it happens. Now, you're gonna, if, if you get the win, which I think you will on Saturday night, uh, that's going to make you 4-0 in the UFC and undefeated overall. Uh, what's next? Anyone you want to fight, or what do you think they're going to be a bigger name? Or uh, I don't know. I'm going to worry about a 29th right now. You know, and after that, wait for that phone call. Yeah. So how far do you think you're? Uh, so you get the win. How far do you think you are from a title shot? Maybe. Uh, who knows? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I don't know, man. That's a good question. Who knows? I'm, I'm not worried about doing. I'm worried about there's a guy at six eleven and a half. You know, the yeah. eight and a half inch reach. Yeah. So it's more basically a UFC brass. Depends. Yeah. Okay. So any any plans after the fight? You're gonna be in England. You'll be in Europe. Any plans going to Croatia or anything like that? No, I can't actually. Um, I uh, I was I was planning. I was trying to get something set up for that, but we couldn't. But I think I'm gonna come back out there hopefully uh maybe by winter time. Hopefully. Yeah. So I get uh just just timing and stuff like that. Perfect. Now, uh, I hear you have a new lady in your life. Anything you want to comment on that? Any wedding bells maybe oh, in the yeah. future? <laughs> uh, I'm going to put, she, put she, you on the she, spot. She's awesome. Man. She's a great girl, man. She yeah, takes care of me. Can't complain. That's you know, great. She's amazing. Making you those home-cooked meals, eh, Stipe? Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Phenomenal cook. <laughs> okay, what did you... In your last fight with Del Rosario, you, uh, first round was... It was kind of even. Second round, you just took it to him. Did you learn anything from that fight compared to your other fights prior? Uh, yeah, I just, uh, yeah, um, I just don't start slow. I start too slow, but I, I think that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to get my feet wet, you know, and, 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 and
most out of the set so I'm all right. You know, now just laid back a little bit. If I would have pushed a little bit more, I think it would have been all right. It would have been looked as bad as anyone said it does. I don't think it looked that bad in the first round, but apparently I wouldn't, you know, as a judge, it probably looked bad. <laughs> yeah. Now, um, for the Strew fight, uh, he's he's fairly good on the ground, too, and I guess BJJ. Did you uh, do any extra BJJ training in this camp, or do you figure wrestling is going to be good enough to stop any uh, submission attempts? Uh, yeah, I mean, I do, of course, you know, working at BJJ, there's no question. Uh, but, you know, I think, uh, you know, I have some good coaches, and, you know, we worked on a lot of stuff. It's going to be get us, so I think, we, you know, it's going to work out well. Okay, perfect. Now, um... The guys wanted me to ask you from the website there, uh, qualifications for the World Cup for Croatia. They have uh, a country named Serbia in their group. I don't know if you ever heard of that country, but uh, uh, we're gonna. they're trying to organize uh, for the first game. A bunch of Croats are going to go to uh, Vegas and party it up uh, for the first game. Any chance we could uh, see Stipe join us? You never know. <laughs> you never know. What's the outcome? What do you think the outcome of that game will be? What do you think the outcome will be? Croatia versus Serbia. Oh, of course you climb out. Okay, perfect. So when do you uh when do you leave for England? Uh, I leave on Monday. Monday. Okay. Yeah, like I uh Sunday on Tuesday morning. Good. Okay, Steve, I think that's all I have for you right now and hopefully uh Saturday night you go there, you get the W. Hopefully maybe another knock out of the night. And uh hopefully we see each other soon again. Yeah, for sure, but I know for sure. Give me text, man. You know, we can chat while we're out there, so don't worry about that. Okay, for sure. Maybe we got to get you, you out got here. An, you, you got an iPhone, right? No, I have uh, Android, actually. Oh, see, it's called a WhatsApp Manager Messenger. Yeah. And uh, we can text each other back and forth for free. Oh, okay, perfect. I'll look for that. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you before I leave. Let me know if you're Now we can maybe do AOL Messenger or something like that. Okay, for sure. How long okay, are you gonna... so I appreciate it, man. Thanks for having me on. Yeah. Oh, no problem. How long are you going to be out there, you said? A week or what? Yeah, I'll be leaving Monday. I'll be, I'll be back Sunday. Okay, so you're just going to stay for the week? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to try to make it out to Grace here soon. I was supposed to go out there for like my shirts and stuff, but it just didn't work out. So hopefully in a couple of weeks they turn it out and I can get back out there. Okay, sounds good. Okay, maybe we can get you yeah. out where I am too. Come for a couple of days. We'll go hunting and fishing or something out here. Yeah, no, for sure. That's great, dude. Yeah. Dude, we need to figure something out, man. Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay, Stipe. Sure. Take care and good luck and uh, go out there and get another right. win for us. I right, sure. I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye.